welcome back to Scars M S M P Season 3. And this is Episode 3. Today, the most important day of all, I start my storage. Instead of waiting a couple months into the season before I start my major storage area, I'm doing it on Season, or Episode number 3. Been on this server for, or the season for about three weeks, and it's time. But before we do that, let's go take a look at the mob farm. We did this last episode. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of loud down here. Let's talk out here. So, I did some AFK time. Went pretty well. Um, I have probably about 90% of the area spawn proofed. So, at this point, doing AFKing, I get about two stacks of everything per hour. So, arrows, rotten flesh, um, gunpowder, string, and there's one more. I don't remember. So, two stacks per hour. So, at this point, I have pretty much everything I need. So, arrows, bones, that's, that's what I forgot. Gunpowder, rotten flesh, and string. And at this point, I am probably going to end up taking down my AFK platform. Because as you can hear, I still have mobs falling in here. So I don't need a huge amount of stuff from this farm. I just need a little bit, and I've already got a good bit. So I think it's just what I collect, you know, while I'm working down this area, I'll have more than enough for what I need. So that means we can start on storage. I did some work, came up with my design plan in our creative server. So, from the center of this area, so right here, I need to go out 11 blocks in each direction. So let's get to it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. This torch down there. This would be a little more difficult because we've got chests and barrels in the way. So one, two. They're crying obsidian here. Why is this here? How, how? I'm confused. How far does this go? I mean, this is. Obsidian doesn't just form on its own, does it? I mean, I don't remember where exactly it forms, but I, you know, I'm um, ruined portals, piglin trading. I don't understand why this is here. I mean, and it's a lot of it. Man, it's going to take me forever to break through this stuff. I just got a standard diamond pick. How far up and down does it go? 
It's like I'm getting the perimeter. This is really strange. I wonder if somebody's pranking me. I'm gonna have to check with Cloud on that one. He seems like the most likely suspect. Kenzer, maybe? It doesn't seem like anything Bacor would do. Cygnus could do it. But I don't think he has the resources. Wow, that is a big hunk of crying obsidian. What? Go. Okay, so we're getting up to my mob farm. What? That is strange. How, how far down does it go? The question is, is this thing solid? Is this, I, I, don't, I don't get this. Uh, it, it has to be a prank. I gotta find out who did this. I mean, I have talked about building my storage down here, so I mean, it kind of makes sense that yeah, they put this in my way, making it difficult. Yeah, how deep does this go? Let's just dig down. I want to see. Okay, so looks like that's as far as it goes. Yeah. That's, this is really strange. Uh, oh well. I, I guess we'll, we'll see if this is uh, hollow. I mean, looking at the mini map. Doesn't show up here. But up on the mini map, it looks like it's. Looks like there's something in there. But. I didn't break through. How about. Do another one? Oh, hello. What is this? I'm very confused. Who would have put this here? What's it? Did you see that? That's some nice armor. Got tools in there. This is odd. Well, no doubt I'm going to take that. Yeah, I definitely need this armor. That's going to make things so much easier. Let me, let me put this stuff on. So, helm of Vulan? What is a Vulan? Wings? Avula? Leggings? Boots? Vulan Sword of Vengeance? Pick of Protection? Who gets that silk touch? Pick of Fortune? Vulan Bow of Valor. Ooh, fancy. Alright. How do I look? Do I look intimidating? Did something change in here? Got everything. Oh, I, I probably should have read the book. Oof. Oh, reading this may be too late. 
while corruption is spreading and overtaking our realm of Vulan. Ah, that's Vulan, okay. We could use any and all help to find a way to stop it and save both our worlds, if that is even possible. Both worlds? What, what, what worlds? People have all been lost the fight. <laughs> have all but lost the fight and need your assistance. You build a new outpost and develop the area. We are hopeful that renewed life there will stop the infection from overtaking your world and bring an end to the horrid infestation. Our culture has created advanced armor and tools that accompany this plea. I, I can tell that. They will aid you in battle against Elosa, the eternal dragon who guards our realm. Ooh. She will do everything in her immense power to prevent you from entering our realm. I, I wonder if that's uh, talking about the end dimension. Please consider your options carefully. Only put the armor on if you accept this fate. Oops. Only put this armor on if you accept this fate, as you will be bound to help us if you do. Hmm. Maybe I should have read this first. And we honestly don't know if we can stop the spread and defeat the end. Good luck, adventurer. We hope you help us. Yeah. Only put the armor on if you accept this fate and you'll be bound to help us if you do. Apparently, I am uh, defending the realm. I don't know what that realm is, but I defend it. Lucky me. Um, you know, I've heard stuff from Cloud and Kenzer, some strange talk of uh, defending the realm. I may have to check with them if they know what that's all about. They are working in the end, so yeah, let me check on that. Actually, it looks like Cloud is AFK and Kenzer's not on, so I'll have to consult with them later. Meanwhile, I can keep working on this, uh, my storeroom, because that is kind of the main thing on this episode, so let's continue with that. So, moving on. So, one, two... Three... That was so much faster. Oh, whoever these Mulan people are, I like them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this. It's kind of scary. Okay, so let's build this out. I need to figure out what to do with this. I'm going to leave it for now. But I need to still build around it. So one, two, three, four. Eleven. So my storage goes right to the end of this. I can worry about that later. Let's go this way. Oh, that's too many. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They went too far. Alright, so. 
I'm trying to remember how this goes. So what I can do is I, I can do the whole main area for now. So I need to go to 704 in that direction. I have pretty much finished the first layer of the, uh, the storage unit. So let's go take a look. I'll show you what I've got. So the previous entrance was over here, but I want it centered on the store, the, the, the mob farm. So we come in here now. And this is what we have. We have a big area in the center and we've got one two three and four different wings so I'm gonna fill in kind of this layer so we aren't gonna see the farm at all and I may even go another layer down because I want to be able to move the, uh, the stuff from the farm out of the center. So I'll probably take it, take a line of hoppers out to somewhere over in here. That way this whole area will be open. And then I'm also going to go down some more because I mean, ceiling's going to be down at least one more so this is actually going to be the top layer and I think I may do like four four different layers but we'll have to see if I can get down that far okay the storage room is done not only have I finished it I have moved everything from all my little storage areas into my main storage area Having said that, I give you a word of warning, I do have a shulker monster. Chest monster, shulker monster, whatever. It, it, it's all shulkers, so I'll call it a shulker monster. So this is kind of my headquarters at the moment. Got my bed here, got all my crafting stuff, got my ender chest. But there is my storage room in all its glory. So I think this is going to work out really well. Plenty of storage. Uh, I did talk to Cloud and Kenzer. I still don't really understand what this whole Vulan thing is and corruption and all that. But they do have a base out in the end trying to protect it, I guess. So this is going to be my main base, but I think they want me out there helping them. So I may take up residence there as well. I think I'll know that by the next episode. So I will let you know at that point. So I don't remember if I mentioned this before, or if I told it on stream, but this is going to be somewhat organized. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to have, say, like mineral type items here. So stone, cobblestone, andesite, diorite, granite and all the derivatives of that. Maybe even like um, netherrack and stone. Anything you would mine from the ground. This wing, or one of the wings, will be plant material. So food, trees, grass, 
everything that comes from plants. Another one's gonna be all, everything that comes from animals. And then the last one will be like maybe construction stuff from miscellaneous, I don't know. So this is 100% functional at this point. I've got all of my collected items. Diamonds. I've got all my collected items here. Then it's going to have to be sorted. But I have to figure out the exact s storage scheme I want to use and get that organized. And then. Ah, oh, there's my entrance. I think I'm also going to remove at least one more layer. Maybe even more. I want to do something with the floor. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I was debating maybe doing a glass floor with lava underneath it. Might be cool. I might do, I don't know, like maybe polished black stone. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see. That's part of my goal for this season. Make things look good. So the floor is going to change out. I'm going to do something with the ceiling. I can't go too far since I've only got a couple layers between the top of my storage area and the bottom of my mob farm. So, but I, I think I mentioned before, I think I'm going to bring this down one more layer. So this last row of barrels will be right up against the ceiling. So that is my plan. And that is all for episode number three. So thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.